L-shaped components are used in engineering often for joining two structural members such as beams or for providing stiffening to a component. For example, these two wooden beams have been firmly joined together with the help of a L-shaped part. It mainly provides a structural load bearing strength to the wooden beams at their joints. As we know, joints tend to be the weakest areas in any engineering structure or machine and hence should be given extra considerations while designing and manufacturing. Some L-shaped components contain a rib in order to further support the load and distribute the stress away from the corner of the L-shape. This L-shape has two ribs at its two sides. These ribs give stiffness to the structure as well as protects from premature failure of the joint. In large structures, L-shape is used for stiffening the structure as shown here. These two L-shaped components are helping to stiffen the wooden desk and bear the load. Without them, the life of the desk will not be much. Let us look at the door of a car. The door is attached to two L-shaped components which are themselves fixed to the main body of the car. The weight and working of the door depend on how these L-shaped hinges take the load and provide rigidity. Thus, we see that L-shaped components are extremely important parts of any engineering system for load-bearing, stiffening, strengthening, etc. In this video, I will show you how we can draw the isometric view of a simple L-shaped component, starting from the orthographic projections drawing. This is the drawing in first angle projection system of a L-shaped component. This is the front view. This is the top view. And this is the right hand side view looking from the right side of the front view. Let me use these L-shaped papers to identify for you the corners and how those corners appear in the orthographic views. This is looking like L shape. Of course it should be solid in real case. These two papers are just a way to represent a L shape component. Let us see the front view and the corners A, B, C and D. This is corner A which is in front and corner B which is on the back side. We will write the back end corner inside the view. On the right side, corner C is on the back and corner D is in front. Similarly, we will label other corners E in front and F is on the back. G is on the back and H is in the front. Other corners are 
I and J in the front and K and L are in the back. We are writing all these letters with a prime or dash to recognize that they are in the front view. Now we will work on the top view. Here the corners A, B, C and D will be directly visible from the top view. E and H corners are also directly visible. I and J corners are on the back side. Now let us identify the corners in the in the right hand side view as well. Corners C and D are directly visible in the side view. Corner a and corner B are on the back, that is, not directly facing the observer. This is K, which is directly visible to the observer from the right side. as well as corner G is directly seen by the observer. Corner F and L are on the back end and hence they are written inside the view. Other corners can also be identified and written for clarity and ease in drawing the isometric view. Please note that it is not a requirement that all the corners must be shown in the orthographic views. However, since it is the beginning for you, such writing of the corner names will help you in understanding the whole process of drawing isometric view. Let us look at our paper model again. We can start drawing isometric view from any of the bottom corners. It is up to us. I will start from corner J. One can also start from corner K, L or I. It's up to you. 
before you draw the actual isometric view, it is a good idea to do a quick freehand sketch to see how the process is going to work. When you are new to engineering drawing, freehand sketching is highly recommended. It saves lots of time later because in engineering drawing, one mistake in the beginning may mean lots of erasing at a later period. This situation should be avoided. Start with corner J and then the edge JH which will be seen as vertical line and of the same length as the original JH. Draw two lines at 30 degree angle to the reference line. At this stage, identify which is the front side and which is the right hand side of the asymmetric view. This will help us in identifying the corners right from the orthographic views. Also, keep a track of the actual lengths of each edge. In isometric view, they will be in their actual dimensions. We will draw the other vertical edge KC. Similarly, identify each corner and edge from the orthographic views and draw them here. There will be lots of parallel lines because edges which are parallel to each other in actual component must also be parallel in the isometric view. This is the lower part of the L shape in isometric view. and then the upper part. This is the freehand sketch. Now I will draw the actual isometric view using the drawing tools. We start with corner G.
35 mm is the dimension of the edge JK which we can get from the front view of the orthographic projections. This corner is I, which is in the front view. This vertical line is for the edge KC. This is JH which is 5 mm in dimension.
Now we have completed all the edges of the L shape following the process of isometric view drawing. Now we will add a rib at the center which is 5 mm in thickness and right at the center of the L shape. First we show the rib in the orthographic projections in the front, top and right hand side views. In the front and top views, the slant side of the rib will appear in projected lengths. but in the side view it will be seen in full length. Now we have drawn a rib in the orthographic projections. Let us see how that is going to change the isometric view. The rib touches the edge EH in the middle. Also, it touches edge AD in the middle.
Now connect the points to show the rib in the isometric view. I will erase the parts of the edges which will not be seen because of the rib and then complete the other edges of the rib. This completes the isometric view of the L shape with a rib in the middle. Orthographic projections to isometric view. Thanks for watching.